Hello! Welcome back to The Witcher 3. It's me, a Prustian. I'm on my way out of this elven temple slash Philippa X hideout. And I couldn't remember exactly where the exit was. I thought that was it. Guess not. Uh, or I guess it is. Okay. But I was like, in case there's a cutscene when I leave... You should have gone after him! Besides, don't come back this way. Ah, there he is now. Here I am now. I'm not going nowhere. Your choice. Devils. Yep, I knew it. You're I knew there'd be a cutscene. Oh, I forgot how ugly Find his shirt anything? was. Jesus. Uh, you know, I'll tell them. Dust, dirt, and a megascope crystal. Whatever the hell that is. But, good chance it's important. Hand it here, we'll see the king get it. Uh, I feel like I'd rather give it to Radovid. yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! Oh, Jesus. People really listen. Does everything have to end in a fight? Can't you guys just, like, not? Okay. I just... I wish it were more obvious to me when I was going to end up getting in a fucking fight with people. It is not always obvious to me. And maybe it should be. But I'm just like, they should let me do my thing. Like, I'm tempted to reload. Pretend I didn't find anything. But also... Oh well. They'd probably fight me for that too. <sighs> friggin' friggin' dudes. Well. Anyways, I, I don't want to give up Philippa if I ha don't have to, so. This is fine. Just like, how pissed is Radovid gonna be? I guess he doesn't have to know who killed them. Yeah, it looks like, because again, I have the option here. I can tell Triss, or I can tell Radovid. And I'm definitely, at minimum, going to talk to Triss first. Um, because I don't know Philippa, but like I don't feel comfortable just handing her over to Radovid if I have any other options. So, Alright, let's go find Triss. Where will she be? I mean, Novigrad, but... Oh, there is... How am I really... Okay. There's an exclamation point. Let's go find it before this one disappears like the other one did. Are you the one I'm talking to? I need a ride. Can you help? No. Bethly, sorry. Who am I supposed to talk to here? Is this like... Oh, it's a paper. Invitation to the Memorial Derby. Take heed one and all citizens free never grab foreigners. Vigilbund... The, the Great Erasmus Vigilbund Memorial Derby. Derby will be held on the residence. Sure. So I can either race horses or spectate, and I have a feeling they are gonna make me race horses. Alright, before I talk to Triss, actually this is a good time for me to unload some stuff. So I will do that, and then I will catch up to you guys once I've talked to Triss. Or once I've reached Triss, I suppose. Hmm. Strange. What's strange? Carol. What's well, strange? It's like, did he see something that has to do with what I'm trying to do? 
Uh, maybe he's just responding to local flavor dialogue. Anyways, I met yes. Triss's. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Also, I replaced his shirt with this one because it had the same stats pretty much and I could not stand the look of the other one. This one's not great either, but it's still better. I have so many ugly shirts in this game. Question for the ages. If you think I won't loot this place, you'd be wrong. Although, isn't Tris supposed to be here? Oh, maybe she's still upstairs. Geralt, I got a problem. Can we talk? What is this interesting looking magic setup? Yes, Geralt? Spoke with Radovid. Offered me a contract to find Philippa. The bastard. Wasn't enough that he poked her eyes out. Probably wants to torture her some more. You turned him down, of course. No. Geralt, you know what he did to her. Relax. See, I figured if I agreed, I could look for her without his men getting in my way. Fact is, I'm curious to know what happened to her. So? Learn anything? Even better. Found this. A megascope crystal. Hmm, it's damaged, but it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Ballista. The word is, Triss is awful carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefort did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's mad. You will need a power. You'll put yourself in great danger. <laughs> That's it. That's all I could recover. That's pretty good work, Triss. I get that right? Philippa says she wants to restore her vision? Seems she was planning to grow tissue on precious stones. Makes sense. Found agates covered in blood in her hideout. Uh -huh. If she pulled it off, she'd only be the second person in the world to do so. But the bit about the lodge, that's what I found interesting. Meaning what exactly? The names they mentioned. All the most powerful sorceresses. Former members of the lodge. They clearly mean to revive it. That good or bad? Depends for who. Philip has always said that if magic perishes, so shall this world. And the Lodge was to protect the mages and their interests. Radovid and the Emperor, on the other hand, would not be pleased. Both would have to respect our opinions, and neither likes to share power. Hmm. Our opinions? You join them? Really? No. I've got other plans. So, what will you do with the crystal? Haven't that decided. is the question. That Radovid would be very interested in it. You're not gonna give it to him, are you? Uh, I see why I shouldn't give it to Radovid. Probably better if you keep it. Much better. It'll be safe with me. I'll try to cast a diagnostic spell. Maybe learn something more. Good luck. Like... I don't know that much about Philippa and her intentions. I don't like Radovid. 
and I, I don't know. I'm just by default on the side of um, Philippa and the Sorceress's Lodge over Radovid, who wants to kill them and exterminate them. Like, they just want power to keep themselves safe, you know, and to protect magic. And, like, I'm, I'm on board with that. Okay, Triss, you had something else going on, though. Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, huh. Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel I want to ask, but I feel like it's pretty obvious that this could be a trap. Um, Vagelbud, though, that's the name of the people with the derby. Interesting. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other. Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Hmm. Well, let me help you Don't with this. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. <laughs> Whose idea do you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Okay. Let's, uh... I do not want to go deal with Radovid right away. Uh... One of the options was to talk to Yennefer. I have no idea where Yennefer is. That's funny. I'd already gone to, um... Skellige or something. Maybe Yennefer's there. But it feels weird to leave Novigrad with all this stuff still going on. Anyways. Speaking of... Do I... Um, this was... Oh! Oh, that's near Oxenfurt. That's something else. This is the Vega. Yeah, let's follow up on this. I do want to still do some of these other things, like the the haunted house and stuff. But um, oh, I just have so many options. But I want to chase this this story down first. I think. I will deal with Radovid eventually. As you can tell, I'm not exactly looking forward to it. You can't exactly just pull swords on this on the king when uh, he gets mad at you. Like you can with the hunters. Although, listen, in my defense, people always pull their swords a lot less than I pull my swords on them. Pig. Any last words? Oh. Alright. I 
I mean, sure, I'll take it. Maybe I'll replace the raw meat on my hot bar with the chicken sandwiches. It's much more appealing. The problem is I have so much of the raw meat and it does the same thing, essentially. <laughs> okay. Lots of bread jerkins. Interesting. But she's a lot harder to tell color. Put the sword away. No, no, sword away, Gerald. I don't think you're the right person. Greetings. Yeah. Okay. Nah, the. So long. Ease. Okay. Everybody's wearing blue. You, blue and keys. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. All right. This one. Time to it's follow. Right, that's great. Nice. Mages. This thing where the people you're with run at the same speed you run is one of the true best quality of life things in this uh, whole game. Thank you. Let's go. Yes, yes, I'm going. I just uh, wanted to loot first. Okay. Never mind. No what do they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I. It just weren't what I expected, since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's Bella. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of life. This guy definitely seems in over his head. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Gross. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person. We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Bagel Bud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagel Bud fears the help's being watched. <laughs> My options. <laughs> Let's just do it. It's a good idea. Boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagel Buds balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. 
and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. <laughs> Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. <laughs> Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Uh, sure, let's just do this. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. Aha! I bet I you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. <laughs> Take care of that, then come and see me. Okay. I will do that. I think I bought some already, did I? I'm not sure. Optional, put on your new doublet, trousers, and boots before. Oh, and I have to buy a specific mask for her. Awesome. Sounds good. I'm gonna go shopping. Oh, this is Hattori. I was like, I'm just gonna go find that blacksmith. But this is like the master blacksmith. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Dude. Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Oh, I would love to try a dumpling. Yeah! Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Yes, swords. Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. I mean, you did greet me with dumplings and it was amazing, so that's fine. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... 
all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Hmm. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Hmm. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? He just With said he did. Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm. I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well, uh, you miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Uh, absolutely. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Yeah. Criminal underworld. No, really sure no, I of with course him. we want to badly need metal for a sword. Is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Oh my god. Could you imagine being able to walk around the world and like a trebuchet hooked up behind Roach. It'd be amazing. I know that trebuchets Fine. are actually way bigger Arrange than that. Meeting. But like Splendid. come on. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Okay, well now I have lots of different options, but I didn't manage to sell my excess swords or armor to that guy, which was my original plan. Okay, uh, or do I help that guy? I think I'm going to help Triss. I'll keep, I'll stick with this, with this thing. But I am going to have to do more unloading of gear. Okay. I'm back at this shop, ready to buy a mask for Triss. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Hello. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Okay. So I have, I grabbed from my stash, uh, the stuff that I got from, um, visiting the king earlier. Okay, so here are the actual masks. I have to buy a fox mask for Triss, and then I see that they give me other options, but, like, let's be honest here, right? This is what Carol would buy. Um, and then I suppose options for other... I wish I could look at them. 
have some like this, I think. I don't think I have any like that. But do I want to spend 180 on it? Uh, I'm not sure that I do. I don't think I do. I have clothes that will work, I think. So long. Okay. So let's put on my new outfit on the assumption <laughs> that I won't run into any more bandits or anybody weird on my way to Dr. Triss. There we go. All right, let's see. How do I? Oh, this is not the. This is not the exit. Where's my exit? Ellie, how? Where's your drawer? There it is. Okay, let's go talk to Triss. I see a thing there. Okay, let me go pick up that new quest before anything else. Just because now I'm paranoid that these new quests are going to disappear. Stand and fight. Oh no. You again? Want some more? Bruises not when I'm not wearing already. Her. Oh God, Shit. I say, victory will be mine this time. Oh I'll no! With shield and sword, many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Uh, I don't want to fight you right now. I don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lessons, dude. I okay. It's not gonna matter. <laughs> Never mind. It's not gonna matter. It's fine. <laughs> Had enough? Yes, but next time. Get out of here. Go back to Mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. What a goof, that guy. Okay, well, got some XP from that. All right, all right. I'm just amused that it's like such a pushover fight, even when I'm not even wearing actual armor. Hi, people. Swinging at his hinges all day. I assume she's inside. It's actually kind of hard to tell. If she's like out back, I'm gonna be annoyed. But I assume she's just in here. Yeah! Oh, she's looking lovely. certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Is he easy prey when he's like a member of a rich family? Everything's I don't know. Ready. We can go. A shame I find like it a little so strange. Fair. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. It feels <laughs> like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Uh, the wolf mask. Thank you. I didn't even buy the other ones.
Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I'll leave your swords here, please. It is a party. Fine. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. I feel bad Beautiful trying here. to. I haven't been outside the city in ages. It it is. Why is somebody like sobbing over here? Oh. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only one in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Oh dear. All right, I'm not gonna really have time to get in here and explore much tonight, so let's talk to Triss. Well, oh, never mind. Let's not talk to Triss. Um, well, let's look a little. Oh, well, they just let us flowers, huh? That's cool though. Patterns. Spend all night smacking horse. So tired, you're positively pale. Yeah, mostly right now I'm like, I just want to explore this place. It looks fun. Why are you purple? Oh, it's a mask. Right. Hello, No one's pretending you don't know. Oh, never mind. I have triggered a cutscene. That's fine. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's oh. been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's get out of here. Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? Yeah, guy's an asshole, but I don't need to uh, fist fight drunk guys here. At least not before doing plot. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another night without four. Is he ever sorted? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. I'm not gonna read. I want to see you. how this plays out. And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Yeah, who was that? Who was I don't that? like him either, but you know. He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Huh. Well, and then there's the a new oh that's on the other side of the wall okay all right well this is actually probably a good stopping some awkward encounters here at the party and next time I will continue so yeah catch y'all then bye goodbye to you and goodbye to the guy who's a kraken in the fountain <laughs>